This is a riding cloak. Some of you might uh, also know this as a cossack, uh, but the English also call this and this a cossack. On the left is a garment often worn by sailors. Uh, with the Myri Neckman group, we, we call this a bous. And on the right is a garment often worn by soldiers, mostly musketeers, to protect their clothes underneath. And this was, uh, was deemed more fashionable than the riding cloak. As you can see, the riding cloak consists of five panels that can be buttoned together uh, in different configurations. For instance, uh, keeping the signs open, like Tom was demonstrating here. This is a loose garment uh, that allows a, a big range of motion. You can also close up the sleeves and the sides. This creates a large uh, overcoat uh, with sleeves that hang over your hands. Uh, this is useful uh, when riding a horse in bad weather uh, to protect your hands. The sleeves can be folded back to free up your hands. If you use almost the same pattern but sew up the sides and the sleeves, you get a Dutch coat. This, is, this was a large overcoat that uh, was worn in the same period as the riding cloak. And the Dutch coats often had a button on the sleeves uh, to keep the cuffs from falling down. Some military regiments were issued one or two uh, riding cloaks or Dutch coats for their soldiers to wear while standing guard. 